Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can back up and restore your LearnDash platform. Now, being a learning management system, your learning platform is constantly changing. So there's people doing courses, doing quizzes, you're changing your own content. So what you wouldn't want to happen is something that breaks your database or your platform and causes you to lose some of that data. And one, one way to protect yourself against this is to take regular backups of your system so that if anything were to happen, you could restore to a previous state relatively easily. And there are a couple of ways to do this. Sometimes with your web hosting provider, you might have something like cPanel like this that has some backup features in here, like these backups and backup wizards. And it may be that you can set up some autom automatic backups via your, your web hosting. And if you can, then that's fine. That's one way to do it. But what we're going to do is show you a way you can do this just using WordPress uh, to create automated backups of your platform. So we're logged into WordPress as an admin here, and I'm going to head to the dashboard. And I'm going to head to plugins down the left hand side here, and then I'm going to go to add new. And over here, I'm just going to search for Updraft Plus, which is the name of this plugin. So that's Updraft Plus. And this is the one on the right hand side here, Updraft Plus WordPress Backup Plugin. And it's got 3 million plus active installations, really good reviews, and it's relatively regularly updated. So we're just going to go ahead and install that. And once that's installed, we can activate it. And when it's activated, at the top here, we'll see this option for Updraft Plus. So I'm just going to first head to the settings page of Updraft Plus and look at some of the options here. So firstly, we can back up by this plugin, both the files and database of your platform. And in case you're not familiar, WordPress and LearnDash are made up of two separate things. You have files and your database. And your files are things like your themes and plugins and WordPress itself and any images and content that you've uploaded. So the physical things that are stored on your web server. Whereas your database is sort of constantly changing content, things that you write like your blogs, pages, course content and things like that so they're things that um, are often changed and your database is normally a bit smaller than your files but it's the one that changes more often so you possibly want to back that up more regularly and what this plugin does is allow you to automate the scheduling of backups on your platform so what we can do at the top here is say I want to back up my files every say week because your files don't tend to change that often. You know, they change every time you update plugins and things like that, but it's not often as critical as a database, which is constantly being changed every time someone even logs in or goes on your course. You know, it's, it's constantly being updated as your database. So that's something you would probably want to update as frequently as possible, perhaps every hour. So you can set these and you can set how many backups you'd want to retain. So say you want to retain five copies of your entire file system and bear in mind that these will be large um, backups here because they've got all of your images being backed up as well. So you probably want to have a, a low number of these, but the database will typically be a, a smaller size. So you might want to have, I don't know, 50 of these that you keep uh, on retention so that you, you can track these back you know, up to 50 hours behind if we're backing these up every hour. So we've set up that and we've got these scheduled to back up. One thing it's really worth doing is setting up some remote storage for your backup as well. It's not, you don't have to do this, but bear in mind that you're, if you don't do this, you're storing your backup on the same web server as your LearnDash platform. So if your web server was to go boom, you would lose your backup as well as your LearnDash platform. 
which is why it's good to store your backup remote, remotely as well so you can have copies of it elsewhere so that if your web hosting went down and uh, you know, was irretrievable, then you would have a copy of it elsewhere. And you can select a few different ones here so you can have them backed up to places like Dropbox, Google Drive, and other places like that. Amazon S3 being a uh, you know, popular one as well. And each one would have different settings. So if you had, say, Dropbox here, you would connect to Dropbox using the options here and select what you want to be backed up. And um, here's a few options here. And the options are different depending on which one you choose. So the instructions for connecting to one of these third-party providers are fairly straightforward here, and it'll show you exactly what to do for each of those. I'm going to leave those for now because you know I don't really want to go into detail about each individual one of these, so I'm just going to leave those disabled. But just bear in mind that remote storage of a backup is definitely a, a, a good thing to have. So what I've done is saved the, the options here at the bottom, and I've saved the schedule here. So if I head over to this Backup and Restore tab, I can see that I've got some scheduled backups here, and it's saying that my files will be next backed up uh, at this point and the database will be backed up at this point and obviously because I set files to be backed up less regularly these would be backed up at different times and as my backups are created they would appear here but what I'm going to do is create a manual backup but before I do that well, what I'm going to do is well actually I'll, I'll create the backup first so I'm going to click on this backup now button and I just want, I'm not going to back up the files here because that might take a bit longer. All I'm going to do is take a database backup and then click backup now. And that says it's creating the backup here. And just because it's a fairly small site with a smallish database, this will be fairly quick to do. But if you have a bigger database and you know lots of users on there, then this might take a bit longer. But we can see here that that is completed now and We've got a backup here at the bottom and I have the option to either download it by clicking this button or I can restore it. And I'm going to show you that restore functionality shortly. But before I do, what I'm going to do is do something silly like delete all of my pages because that you, know, you, you probably wouldn't do this exactly but you might, it, I just want to show you that you could break something on your site and now if I go to it Oh no, all my, all my pages have gone. But it's great because we've got that backup that we can restore from. So if you do something silly like that or something breaks on your site, what we can now do is head to Backup Draft Plus, Backup and Restore, and restore that database backup that we just took there by choosing it here, clicking Next, Restore, and then what this will do is just run through all of the, you know, the, the database backup that it took there, bring it all back in. And you know, this will just take a little while depending on how long, um, how, you know, how big your database is, but that's now restored successfully. And if I go back to the page here, go back to pages, I can see that they're all back again. So that backup has got us out of a sticky situation there because we deleted all our pages, but just like that, we've been able to restore them back to how they were. So it just gives you a bit of extra peace of mind having this in place, running behind the scenes in case anything goes wrong on your platform, and it just gives you a quick way to get things back to a recent state if anything were to go wrong. So I hope you find this useful, and if you did, please give the video a like, and if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.